This podcast was submitted as an assessment for a sports science outdoor activities degree at Bangor University. This podcast aims to give advice to kayakers of all ability levels through the stages of learning a draw on the move and the situations in which it can be useful. When learning any paddling stroke, you need to consider your boat position, your body position and your blade position. You need your boat on edge so that the water can flow under the boat to reduce sideways resistance. To be looking in the direction of travel with your trunk rotated for ease of application of the stroke. And a vertical paddle shaft for maximum efficiency of the blade. There are three stages of learning, cognitive, associative and autonomous. In the cognitive stage of learning, you will perform the stroke in its simplest form. Once you have learned the basic technique, you will move on to the associative stage of learning and onto a smooth execution of the stroke. In the next short video, look at how the paddle positions change. You will see that as the blade reaches the boat, the wrists close up to twist the shaft so that the blade is perpendicular to the boat. The blade is then sliced back away from the boat for the draw stroke to be repeated by opening the wrists again and twisting the blade back so that it is once again parallel to the boat. Once you have practiced for some time, you will move into the autonomous stage of learning, where you will not need to think about the skill anymore. This can take a long amount of practice time and many applications to relevant situations before it comes completely autonomous. Before progressing into white water, your draw on the move on flat water should be competent, as the technique is the same, although possibly with a harsher edge to maintain balance in the flow. Draw strokes are more important in a moving water situation, as the consequences tend to be greater. Performing a draw on moving water is essentially the same as on flat water, but you may need to apply more edge so that the water does not catch the edge of the boat. Notice in the next two videos the distance of the blade away from the boat, the near vertical paddle, the trunk rotation and the edge that the boat is put on. I have demonstrated the skill on both sides as it is always a good idea to practice equal amounts on both sides. Applying a draw is mainly used for avoiding obstacles in moving water situations. You should start by practicing on gently moving water before moving on to more challenging situations. When paddling a whitewater river, no matter what skill level you are at, everyone has the potential to encounter the occasional situation where they don't see an obstacle in their paddling line until the last minute. This can lead to potentially fatal pins or dangerous wrong lines down rapids. 
A moving draw is an initial defence towards avoiding a pin and is especially useful in last minute sudden line swaps and so is, in these situations, an essential skill to have. When practicing skills, it is often beneficial to do so with someone of the same ability level as you who is also the same gender as you.